Here we go. Everything you need to know to get your day started. Kara Duffy kicks off your morning rush. President Joe Biden addressed the nation condemning Hamas and pledging support for Israel in its time of crisis. The war now in its fifth day after Hamas massacred more than a thousand civilians and soldiers in southern Israel. Hamas continues to launch rockets as Israel pounds Gaza with airstrikes that have already killed hundreds. Local groups and organizations are coming together to support Israel in their time of need. Many are opening donation drives to collect items to send there. Nothing is off the table when it comes to donations. We're talking money, non-perishable food items, and water. We also have these links listed on our website, cbs12.com. The Martin County Sheriff's Office has found a second boat that they say was likely used to smuggle illegal migrants into the United States. Deputies say they found it in the mangroves near Sewell's Point. Yesterday, we reported deputies were able to intercept a boat full of migrants in Stewart late Monday night. There were at least 18 people on that boat, believed to be from Ecuador. Deputies are urging residents to be vigilant and report any suspicious activity to law enforcement. There will also be increasing patrols on the waterway out of an abundance of caution. Former President Donald Trump and Florida Representative Matt Gates are expected to speak at an event today in West Palm Beach. So it's being held at the Palm Beach County Convention Center at 6 p.m. and it's hosted by Club 47 USA. Expect to see some traffic delays and heavy police presence ahead of the former president's arrival this evening. And the Powerball jackpot keeps climbing. Tonight's drawing is now up to $1.7 billion, the second largest Powerball prize in U.S. history. You can watch their drawing live on CBS 12 News at 11.